Before Dylan Danis mastered the art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and stab picks with Chadwick Boseman, Action Bronson, Drake, David Beckham, Travis Scott, and became sparring partners with the one and only Conor McGregor. Before Dylan Danis had amassed a large social media following with 75,000 followers on Twitter, as well as 740,000 on Instagram at the time of this recording. Before Abib was jumping on Dylan Danis after winning UFC 229 against Conor McGregor. Before Dylan Danis and Jake Paul were getting into a war of words via Twitter. Before Dylan Danis was being analyzed as well as praised on the Joe Rogan experience. It's it's drama. Met, but it was a lot of drama. Dylan, in real life, he's a super he's nice a great guy. guy. Dylan Danis is a 25-year-old martial artist hailing from the state of New Jersey. He's an up-and-coming force that has been praised several times for his fighting ability by everyone from Connor to Joe Rogan. At six foot, 175 pounds, while Dylan has several middleweight victories under his belt, making his Bellator debut in April of 2018. He defeated Kyle the Stun Gun Walker by submission. Aside from competing in jiu-jitsu, well, he's also called out several MMA fighters, including Michael Bisping, Michael Chandler, Ben Askren, Rafael Dos Anjos, and John Jones. I'm sorry, boys, if I butchered any of your names. By the time we do your bio, I'll have it down pat. Now, growing up in several small Jersey towns, it seems like this was always going to be the end game. Raised by a single mother, he was always finding himself in trouble at school. Training at martial arts, well, it was pretty much his only hobby. He says jujitsu, well, it pretty much saved his life. Yeah, Dylan, he was kind enough to answer our questions so we could put together this video. Nicknamed El Jefe, meaning the boss in Spanish, well, Dylan was involved in a few street fights as a kid. Winning his first in middle school against the class bully, he quickly became became acquainted with the rough and tumble world of fighting, going back and forth from his neighborhood gym to train. Well, he was even recruited into the world of wrestling thanks to a history class, of all things. But we'll explain all that a little later in this video. Yeah, I don't mind. I mean, no one has came out and said otherwise, really. What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of Dylan Dan as part of fame. Here for you, of course, on Before They're Famous. Now, you guys, you requested this video, so I'm happy we're finally getting it done. Also, me and Dylan talking in the DMs. I feel like a little Jake Paul. It's cool. Now, we've done profiles on other fighters, including Tyson Fury and Eddie Alvarez, and our one on Conor McGregor could certainly use an update. Perhaps we'll make it an epic. Now, as per usual, you guys gotta let us know who's next in the comments down below. Now, let's get into Dylan Dennis. That sounds weird. Dylan, I don't want to offend. I would never offend a man with your abilities. All right, let's go. Dylan Danis was born on August 22nd, 1993 in Morristown, New Jersey, a town of about 18,000 people located about 25 miles outside of New York City. Now, according to sources, he is reportedly of both Armenian and Honduran descent. I don't know anyone in Hollywood who's Honduran, but them Kardashians, maybe a whole lot of Armenian. Mm. They breed fighters and babes. Well, plastic surgery babes, whatever. Raised by his mother, Nikki Danis, well, Dylan and his two siblings, they grew up in the New Jersey towns of Parsippany and Dover. Parsippany. I can't say it. Parsippany and Dover. Now he is the middle child between older sister Carol and younger brother Brandon. While Dylan has stated that his formative years were generally good, there were rough times throughout his childhood and he had to constantly be on his toes. Looking back on his family life, well Dylan states that the person that he admires the most in his life is his mother Nikki. And this is due to her raising her kids all alone while holding multiple jobs. Now as for celebrities he looked up to, the fighter to be, well he enjoyed the antics of Bam Margera and the Jackass crew. And I guess that makes a little bit of sense. <laughs> I would be confident. <laughs> yeah. As for fighters, he looked up to Brazilian Leandro Lowe and Marcelo Garcia. Attending St. Christopher Elementary School on Parsippany Littleton Road, well, Dylan was a constant burden to his teachers as it seemed he had no time for his studies. Now moving on to Brooklyn Middle School over on Beechwood Road, well, his knack for causing mischief seemed to follow him everywhere he went. Reminiscing on his school years, well, he told me, I was a troublemaker, I had the most write-ups in my middle school's history, which later went into high school. Despite his lack of interest in schooling, well, Dylan actually enjoyed reading. His mom apparently introduced him to biographies of former fighters as well as the works of Che Guevara. Now, this was before your boy Michael McCrennan was doing bios here on the old YouTube. Although we haven't done one on Che Guevara. I'll add that to the list. Well, life in a small town, Jersey, may seem pleasant to some. Well, Dylan's surroundings, they weren't the best. Now, he's revealed that his first exposure to fighting was through various street brawls he experienced as a youth. In an interview with the Daily Record newspaper, well, Dylan remembers that he had his first fight, which involved 
called a schoolmate, and this was because he was getting picked on. He stated, I choked him out, I fought him, and they were like, what's this BS on the ground? In middle school, people didn't understand. That's my only street fight ever. I'm happy it happened because it made me realize what my dream was. I found jujitsu. He began training at a nearby gym where he would put his scrawny frame to the test, fighting grown men twice his size. He credits his resilience in these situations as what made him successful. I create, I conquer, I hold the power. Attending Parsmany High School in nearby Morris Plains, well, he was introduced to wrestling. Mr. Lodato, one of the school's history teachers and coaches, well, it was this man who pulled the 15-year-old out of history class, and in his sophomore year, he put him on the wrestling team. It was here he infused his jujitsu moves into wrestling, something that proved to be controversial among Mr. Lodato and the other wrestling coaches. But hey, it worked. While Dylan would shine as a wrestler and martial artist, his performance as a student was, well, a different story. He would often skip classes just to go to the gym. Now his mom, Nikki, would sometimes have to go into the school and explain to faculty that Dylan was trying to achieve a goal. What was that goal, you ask? Well, the goal was to become a certified black belt in jujitsu by the age of 21. And, uh, well, he also wanted to be a world champion. You know, you gotta have goals. He told me, I was destined for greatness from a young age. I never missed a session, no matter what. Since I was 15, nothing was overnight. Dylan's first instructor was Jamie Cruz. He credits Jamie along with others at the gym for training him to be the best possible fighter he can be. He earned his belts through this academy and he later moved on to his hero Marcel Garcia's academy, which is in the Big Apple. He was 19 when Marcelo decided that he would train the young fighter full time. In 2014, he competed in the International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation and he placed second. This was in the middleweight brown belt division. Good for him getting that brown belt. I know a lot of guys celebrate that one. In 2016, Dylan was recruited by none other than Conor McGregor to be his main grappling partner. And here's a clip of the two training together at Conor's gym in Dublin, Ireland. Out of the game that he's used to also. We've been in here and we've been fighting. We haven't been slacking off on him. Now this all led up to his MMA debut in 2018 when he went up against Kyle Walker at Bellator 198. And he finished them, well, in the first round. i that moment since I was 15 years old, I feel. More recently, well, Dylan, he's made quite a name for himself via social media. He's been talking with the likes of Jake Paul. He's also been throwing some shade at Habib Nurmagomedov. There's all sorts of posts and memes and messages and I'm probably saying his name wrong, but uh, it's quite scandalous. It's also very entertaining to watch. As for the rest of the story, well, we're gonna wrap this one up here because this is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrad and we post tons of celebrity bios here for you on this channel, but you guys gotta let us know who's next in the comments down below. We're also posting more videos on the second channel because you guys request so many and we don't have nowhere to put them. So this may be on the second channel or the main channel. You know better than me, but wherever you're watching it, be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!